All right. Hello. <clears throat> Most of my videos on my channel are for spreading the gospel. But the channel isn't named The Mormon Life or Latter-day Saint Life. So I talk about other things, too. I think people who have a YouTube channel named The Latter-day Saint Life, The LDS Life, shouldn't put a lot of personal stuff on there. You named your channel after a church sticks as a gospel. Start a second channel if you want to do other things. <clears throat> I live in the United States of America. It's 2016. We have a presidential election. And I've already yelled at the television. Now it's time to talk to a camera and put it on the internet some of the thoughts I had. There are two commercials that I have seen. I'm going to comment on one of them at a time. I'll see how long it takes. I think I'll come in one at a time. That are... I don't see how a person with working brain cells could see those commercials and be convinced to vote for Hillary Clinton or against Donald Trump. The one the video starts off with a guy who claims he used to work in our nuclear missile silos, and maybe he really did. Worried about Donald Trump starting nuclear war. But I see no reason to be worried about Donald Trump starting a nuclear war. He's, he's got a good heart. He's trying to help us. And he hasn't said he's going to start a nuclear war. And if anyone's going to start a nuclear war, it would probably be Hillary. Um, she's the one who has been in the Department of State when dictators were taken out, when her husband was in the White House, um, America got involved in a war that had nothing to do with America, and neither side in the war was threatening to attack America. And um, it becomes painfully obvious now that one side in that war was defending itself against a violent, bloodthirsty other side. <clears throat> and Hillary and Bill took the side of the, of the ones who were violent and bloodthirsty. <clears throat> this video has some clips of Donald Trump and one of them is him saying, I'm going to bomb the bleep out of them. Is that clip really supposed to make me scared he's going to start World War III? Donald Trump was talking about bombing the crap out of the Islamic State. And I'm not saying ISIS. I'm saying Islamic State. And <clears throat> I'm not saying ISIL. <clears throat> um, he was talking about bombing the crap out of a group of people who have already declared war on us, already told their people who agree with them to kill people in other countries, and there are dead Americans and dead Frenchmen because of people fighting for the Islamic State. So it's not starting World War III if you bomb the crap out of the Islamic State. And in fact, Donald Trump is uh, proven to not be errat erratic and to have thought things through when he points out that Russia and Syria are attacking the low lives who are telling who have declared war on us. By the way, our NATO ally Turkey is helping them. And Saudi Arabia hasn't officially declared their support for the Islamic State, but man, they aren't doing very much against them. And they're uh as they seem very ideologically well aligned. <clears throat> and uh, so that's one point to be made. Uh, and one of the other clips is Donald Trump saying, I'm going to be unpredictable. Yeah, that's what intelligent people should want out of a president. Now, Donald Trump did not mean, and we've got no reason to think he meant, unpredictable in that other countries won't know if they're our enemy or our friend. That's not what he meant. 
He meant unpredictable, like once we know who's our enemy, they don't know what he's going to do, how he's going to attack, where and when. Anyone with working brain cells wants that. <laughs> oh, for hundreds of years, militaries have wanted to be... not let the other guys know where they're going. You know, it's... That's what military intelligence and planning is about. You convince the other guy that you are strong where you're weak so they don't attack you there. You convince them that they're, you're weak where you're strong so they'll attack where you'll be able to win the battle. You trick your enemy into attacking in bad places. You attack them where they are weak and don't tell them you're going to go attack them there. That's just plain good military strategy. You don't tell the enemy that you know that they're weak here, and they can go strengthen it. Or you don't tell the enemy you know that they're strong here, so that they you just don't let them know what your plans are. Which hasn't been happening recently. Recently, America has been telling every other country, we're going to attack this city, that city, this enemy of ours. We know the leader of this group is in this city. Yeah, and he's not going to stay there so we can bomb him and kill him. If you don't know, we know where he is. And in fact, one reason it's good to have an unpredictable president, not only for winning wars, is so brave spies who are loyal to us get to stay alive. <clears throat> one thing that we should worry about is if the, uh, if the enemy lets us know something about them, uh, they might be telling somebody who they suspect to be a spy. And then when it's on the nightly news and it's announced to everybody, we know the enemy has this person here, this stash of weapons there, and that was what they told their spy. They know who's their spy that's helping us and they can kill him. <clears throat> and Hillary Clinton not starting war. Oh, boy. Hillary Clinton would be bad news because one of her closest advisors is Huma Abedin, whose family, whose parents are Muslim Brotherhood members. <sighs> well, Hillary was in the Department of State. Um, the official government position was to get rid of a, encourage the overthrow of a peaceful dictator in Egypt. What did we get instead? Bloody Muslim Brotherhood persecuting religious minorities until thankfully enough Egyptians realized that they were bad news. Even the Muslims, even the peaceful Muslims in Egypt, which there are some of, a lot of, didn't want the Muslim Brotherhood there. But he, he, Hillary Clinton wanted them there. That should give you a really good clue. Hillary is not the candidate you should want if you care about world peace. Peaceful moderate Muslims don't want the people in charge of their countries that she wants in charge of their countries. Hillary Clinton was definitely involved in what happened in Libya. A dictator, I'm not, calling, I'm not claiming Hosni Mubarak or Gaddafi or angels or that we should give them a Nobel Peace Prize, but they were keeping the peace. And they are definitely better than what replaced them. Hillary Clinton definitely was for killing uh, Muammar Gaddafi. Who had turned over his nuclear weapons to us? He gave up on his nuclear weapons program because he saw um, Iraq freed from a dictator and he was worried he was going to be next if he didn't cooperate. That's not helping world peace if you depose a dictator who is cooperating with us and leave a power vacuum that gets filled by the Islamic State or by Al-Qaeda, which is one and the same. <laughs> or at least even if they if, which have the same ideology and belief system and pray to the same dumb idol five times a day. So, those are my thoughts on that one ad that was supposed to scare me into thinking Donald Trump is Trump! Ah! That's such a scary name. Trump, Trump. Ah! Ah! 
that ad that was supposed to scare me into thinking the guy who's never taken a bribe from a foreign government <clears throat> and doesn't have his campaign funded by billionaires and Wall Street and foreign governments is going to start World War III. Thank you, and you have a good day.